Welcome to Ninja Tutorial Part 6. In this lesson, we're going to start to animate. And the first thing we're going to do is put keyframes at the beginning and end of your timeline in all layers. Now go to frame 2 and do the same thing. Put a keyframe in every layer. Once you've done that, double click on the eye symbol. Now you're on the timeline on the inside of the eye symbol. You'll need three drawings in the eye symbol. Eyes straight ahead, eyes looking to the left, and eyes looking to the left situated in a three-quarter view head. And I'll explain that in a few minutes. Right now, go back out to the main timeline, double-click the head, and we're doing the same thing. You have two drawings inside the head symbol, a front view and a three-quarter view. Back out to the main timeline, and in frame three, put the head symbol and the eye symbol both at a three-quarter view. Scrub the timeline, and your character will cut his glance to the left and then turn his head to the left. Now we are animating. <laughs> Alright, let's get his bow staff out of the way, and we're going to go to the end of the timeline and position our character the way he will look right after he's delivered his sidekick. So let's tip him over and put his left leg at position 3, drawing 3 in the symbol. Now select his body and put the body at position 2 in the body symbol. Move the body's pivot point up near the head to help you position it easier, and it'll go back where it was by itself. Tip his head up. Let's move his leg here and tip his leg up a little. And we're going to need his arm to be in position. Uh, it needs to be bent. And use keyboard shortcuts 4 and 5 to uh, flip his arms horizontally and vertically till you get them positioned where he has his arms uh, slightly bent, reaching over his head. You'll have to reposition the hands as well to tuck his head down a little bit. Uh, get his hands positioned just right, and I think now we can give him his weapon back. Alt arrow down will put the bow staff behind the hand symbols. And position three is the closed fist with the palm out, and that's how we have him grab his bow staff. Make sure you flip it around so that the thumbs are uh, on the inside towards his body. Now select all the keyframes at the end of the timeline and control drag back one frame. Now select the left side leg and highlight it and put it in the kicking position uh, from the library. Now we're going to go back to the timeline, and right down the middle we're going to put a keyframe in every layer. Now select the bow staff, move its pivot point down to the very bottom end, and tip the bow staff out away from the character. Select the right arm, pull it out, select the hand, and move the hand to frame 6 in the hand symbol. Select the opposite arm and position it at about a 45 degree angle to the torso. Back to the timeline and put another row of keyframes just past the last ones. Select the character's right arm and put it in position 2. Flip the arm vertically and then rotate it down next to the body and adjust the hand. Make sure the thumb is up, move the right arm slightly away from the body, and select the torso, head, and left side arm. Pull the pivot point down to the right hip, and rotate everything slightly to the right side as though he were putting his weight on that side of his body. Tip his head up, select the left side arm, and put it in position two and flip it. Now he's reaching upward for his bow staff. Now 
Now let's put the hand at position 7, flip it, then select the left side leg and dial it to position 2. Rotate the leg up just slightly, tip the head forward just slightly, and the right side hand goes into position 3, and then Alt Arrow Up will bring that hand ahead of the bow staff to look like he's grasping it. And that's basically how frame to frame animation is done. You have a before pose, the after pose, and then you create a pose in between the two and repeat and scrub the timeline as you're working until it looks smooth and believable. So that's pretty much what happens for the rest of the animation of the ninja. Um, it's kind of repetitive, so what I'm going to do is speed it up 200%, and you can watch me repeat the process over and over um, until he's back to his original pose. Uh, and I may post another tutorial just to show uh, cleaning it up and maybe polishing it up a little bit. Um, but for now, let's just watch this triple speed version, and I'll maybe I'll pause and comment if I see a place where it needs some clarification.
Uh, thanks for watching, and as always, if you have any questions, please don't be afraid to ask. I'll always write you back.